Hi, I am Sunil Balasundaram, the senior pastor of the Doylestown United Methodist Church in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining me for our July edition of this uh, video prayer letter. I want to encourage you again uh, in your prayer this month when we meet and pray together on the 6th of July on the Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. that you will grow closer to the Lord even as you pray, but also be more powerful in your prayer. And here's a couple of hints. Someone asked me once, why should I pray when God knows everything that I'm thinking and what I'm going to do? Won't he just give it to me? Shouldn't he just give it to me? Because he knows what I'm thinking and going to do. And here's the thing. What we have between us, God and you, God and me, is not a transaction, not a you do this for me and I'll do this for you, but really a relationship. And a relationship is all about love. And love is all about giving the freedom to uh, accept a person and reject a person. So even though God knows what's in your heart and mind and soul, he is not going to invade your privacy and take advantage of it. He wants you to share it with him. Because prayer is communication with a father who loves us. He wants us to share what's on our heart, what's on our mind. He wants us to give our burdens to him so that he will lift it for us and he will do. And more than that, prayer is a privilege of being involved in God's story of redemption. It's not just God being involved in my life and in my story. God wants me to be involved in his story, his story of touching and changing the entire world, people around you, your community. And uh, prayer is expecting and waiting for God to change events and change us as well. And so when you come to God with your heart and your desires based on your knowledge of him, based on your relationship of love with him, based on what he is moving you to feel and even moving you to do, based on your reading of scripture and your growing in his word, you will be involved in his act of redemption. And prayer is a powerful part of it. So this month, when you come to God in prayer, be involved in what he is doing around you. Ask him, Lord, what are you doing in this world? What do you want for my church? What do you want for my community? How do you want me to pray? And Lord, you're moving me to pray in a way that will touch lives, that will change lives. And maybe, Lord, my life will change as well. May you have a rich and deep time of prayer as you join us in prayer. God be with you.